Hey, GED students. Um, uh, I was in a GED group online and some students asked um, about this problem. So let's take a look here. It says, researchers collected data to determine volumetric bone density for four samples. Uh, the data are recorded in the table. What is the average bone density for the data samples provided? And they give us a bone density table here. So again, what are we looking for? We're looking for the average bone density for the data samples provided. Now, when you look at this bone density data, we have a problem. In and of that, uh, we don't actually know the density. Uh, we know the mass of the sample. Mass. Uh, mass is kind of like how much something weighs. It's very similar for our purposes. We're just going to consider it the same. Um, and then we have the volume of the sample, how much space it occupies. So it's like heft in the amount of space. So if you want to find out density, you're going to have to take uh, that heft, as you think about it, and divide by that volume because density is going to be measured in grams per cubic centimeter here. The weight per the volume or the it's not really weight, it is mass, which is a little different, but very similar for our purposes. So anyway, um, like the weight uh, by the volume here. And that's because if we have different amounts of each sample, how can we compare them? Just like with fractions, just like with decimals, just like um, when we do math, it's really hard to compare things unless you're in the same unit. So if I can get these all down to gram per cubic centimeters, uh, then I'll be able to find the average of all of them. So let's do that first. So 6.8 grams per means divide, divided by 22.6 cubic centimeters uh, tells us this one is about 0 0.300. And I'm going to just leave this number in my calculator because it's long and it's full of decimals and I want to use it later. And if I round it off in my calculations, I am going to uh, lose data. So I'm leaving this in my calculator and I'm doing my next calculation. I did not clear my answer. Okay, so next one. I have a 1.7 mass this time, uh, 1.7 grams, and I'm going to divide that by the 5.4 cubic centimeters. And this one is a 0.3148 dot 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 dot. And again, I'm leaving that number in my calculator because I'm going to go back and retrieve it at the end. Okay. So next one, I have 3.6 grams, and I want to find out grams per cubic centimeter, so I'm going to divide. Per means divide by 11.3, and I get 0.3185, and dot, it goes on and on. Again, I'm leaving that in my calculator. I'm performing the next calculation. Uh, so for the fourth sample, uh, how many grams per cubic centimeter do I have with that one? Well, I'll take my grams, 5.2, and I'll per it. I'll divide by 17.4 cubic centimeters. And that one gives me 0.2988, yada, yada, yada. Now, here's the reason why I left those calculations in my calculator. I want to add together those four numbers, and I'm too lazy to type them in in their entirety. So right now, with that 2.9 still on my screen, I'm going to press plus. And if you did this correctly, you're going to see something appear on your screen before the plus. It should say ANS, meaning it's grabbing the answer from the last problem. So right now, that ANS stands for 0.29885075, my last calculation. Now I'm going to arrow up, one, two, three arrow ups. And right now, I'm my calculator is flashing black on this number right here, 0.3185, yeah, and I'm going to press enter. It put that number under my calculation. I'll press plus, and now I'll arrow up to my next calculation, the 0.3148, and you can keep arrowing up, and again I'll press enter, enter, and plus again, and this one. Now you might think, why is she adding all these numbers? I'm sorry that I skipped that part, but we were told to find the average of all these numbers. So an average is found by totaling numbers. And if they're just four different size numbers, an easy way to total them is to, or the really the only way to total them, is to add them. There's other ways to total when it's a 
we have repeated numbers, but we don't have repeated numbers. We just have the four same numbers. So we'll just add them up, total them, and then we'll divide by the number of items in our data set, which in our case is four. So I just got all four of these numbers into my calculator without having to type them because I'm so lazy and I press enter. When you press enter, that total should tell you about one, two, 1.2333, yada, yada, yada. Again, I don't want to retype that number into my calculator, and so I'm just going to press divide now. And again, you'll see on your screen, A and S, answer from the last line, and we're going to divide that by 4. And I get 0 0.30828, yada, yada, yada. I'm looking at this particular problem and I don't see any rounding directions, uh, which means that your rounding clue will come in the answers. So I'm going to keep this number in my calculator, but I'm going to erase it from the screen because I need to Uh, discard because I need to scroll down here so let's go ahead and take a look at our possible answers it looks like our answers are rounded to uh, what they different places here but let's see which one's closest to ours okay ours was point z whoa I need a pen the answer in our calculator was 0 0.30828 Okay, um, and so I see all of these that have a zero point, zero point, zero point, it's got to be one of these, are rounded to two decimal places. So I'm going to do the same thing, I'm going to round to two decimal places. So one, two decimal places, I'll put my cutoff line here. I'll consider the number that I'm about to throw away, eight, and I'll ask myself, am I halfway through my digits yet? Am I five or higher? Well, yes, eight is more than halfway through our digit system. It's five or higher. And so what's going to happen is this number is going to bump its buddy up before it dies. The hundredths place is going to go up from zero to one. So that's about 0 0.31 grams per cubic centimeter. That is the correct answer. If you have any questions about this or any other GED topic, uh, be sure to drop it in the comments and I'll do my best to answer it.